All right, ladies and germs, uh, I'm back here again with the second half of this video of my uh, 2010 um, and up um, stars. So like my first part of my video, this is the, my binder that includes players who had their um, rookie card in 2010 and beyond. So um, let's pick it right up where I left off. And uh, Mr. Bryce Harper was having a sick season up until a couple weeks ago when he um, when he hyper extended that knee running to first base. Um, Say what you will about him. This guy's a, this guy's an amazing player. Um, I, I like the dude. Um, I, I think he's great for the game. Um, he plays hard, man. This dude plays hard. So um, he'll be back hopefully for the playoffs and see where they go. I'm actually watching the uh, watching the Mets and Nationals now on uh, Sunday Night Baseball. Washington's got a four three lead, top of the seventh. But uh, Br Brycey, I got his. Um, also got his rookie cards, the update, and the, the alternate version in in, um, in magnetics. Um, so I've got a couple of pages here, Mr. Harper, like that, the '83 style there. That's a nice. That's a nice card. And another page of these. I like this year they did the uh, the Bowman those uh, subsets where they did the the cheesy uh, like high school clothes photos like they did in the '92 and '93 Bowman, like the Mariano Rivera and the Chipper Jones in their '90s garb. That's pretty funny stuff. It's Harper and Dallas Keuchel. This guy was, again, having a great season, and he got hurt, man. A lot of guys getting hurt this year. Bellinger's hurt now. Uh, it's tough, man. I mean, you got your stars, your best players aren't playing due to injury. It just it sucks. Dallas Keuchel. This is another, another dude right here. Um, kind of under under the radar, Jake Lamb. Um, you know, him and Nolan Arenado, man. Great third baseman. And playing in that National League West right now, so... This guy's a good, good, solid player. Jake Lamb and Mr. Todd Burlingame's favorite, Francisco Lindor. Which I don't have his his rookie card. Um, that comes in 2015 Tops update. Um, Got to pull that, pull, pull the trigger on that one shortly. But uh, one of the few I don't have. And uh, this guy's good. I think he just hit his 24th home run. There's a couple more there. A little shiny there, a little foil there. We got Manny Machado. Where will he wind up? Where will he wind up? I don't know if he's going to stay with the Orioles or what, but we'll see. Manny. Some of those cool throwback inserts uh, from last year's opening day. Actually, that might be 2015 opening day. But uh, I like that. Again, I'm, I said it before, I'm a sucker for anything, uh, you know, 70s style. That's cool stuff. Another rookie card there. Um, Starling Marte, man. Pirates got a great outfield of uh, him and McCutcheon and um, Gregory Polanco. I know this guy got pinched for um, for um, what you may call it this year, um, PEDs. But solid player. I like this guy, Starling. Another one of those 76 from uh, a couple of years ago's archives. Marte, more Marte. And we go to Marcelo Zuna, another kind of under the radar guy. Uh, living down here in Southwest Florida, get to watch a lot of games. This guy's, this guy's another solid dude. Good player. Who knows if he'll stay in Miami too, you know, I don't know. Um, hopefully they keep the team together for hopefully when Derek Jeter purchases the team. Um, they got some solid players in that team, and I, I'd like to see what they can do. This guy's a good good hitter. And there's Gregory Polanco. The other, uh, 
the right fielder. I like that dude. He's a little Buster Posey. Tops 85 401. Shout out to you, brother. Little Buster, little trophy action there. I love the trophy. This guy's already he won three World Series. An MVP. Ooh. Pretty sick. Pretty sick career so far. I can also call my funny name finder too. Buster Posey there, man. Just some shine for you, Nate. And then Anthony Rizzo from the Northsiders. Here's another one I forgot from the 2011 update. Anthony Rizzo, rookie card. Just like, dang, man. A lot of good rookies in 2011. A lot of good rookies. This guy seems like a cool dude. And he's a Paisan, so you gotta love that. This guy started off as a property of the Red Sox, too. They treated him to um, the Padres for Adrian Gonzalez. So. And then Chris Sale, who is now a Red Sox. This guy's having a pretty dang sick season himself. He's uh, throwing out some strikeout numbers, pretty sick ones. Pretty crazy strikeout numbers. There's that rookie card from 2011. I, actually, I think that might be from from the regular series. I don't think that's from Update. Whoops! Almost broke the camera there. Let's see, is it? Yeah, no, it's regular. It's just number 65. It's not an Update card. Got to tighten this thing up a little bit. There we go. Having technical difficulties. Chris Sale. Speed this up a little bit. I got another two minutes left. For sale. And we got Schwarber's having, you know, he's come back a little bit. Um, he's got like 21, 22 home runs. Um, we'll see where he goes. We'll see. But I put him in the book. He's in the book. Doesn't mean he can't come out of the book, but. You get the top spot there. And Corey Singer, Corey Singer, Corey Singer! Pepino man! You got the Corey Seeker love going on there, brother. Here's a trophy card right there. Trophy. Love the trophies. Some more Corey Seeker, Corey Seeker, Corey Seeker. There we got George Springer. Having a great season, lead off uh, for uh, for Houston. Yeah, it's, those are cool. In 2015, they came out with those Pride and Perseverance uh, subsets, and I guess uh, Springer has a, a stuttering issue. So, pretty interesting stuff. There's some throwback Astro unis right there, like popsicle or whatever they're called uniforms from the 70s. And then there's the man. Don't call me Mike Stanton. You know the trophy. This guy's having a sick, sick, sick season. He might be your MVP in the National League. I mean, 50 home runs. The guy doesn't look like he's slowing down. I don't know what the hell he's going to wind up with. Um, can he hit another 24 home runs to break the single season record? I don't know, but, you know, dang, man. This guy is 
This guy is the man, so. No. Another another page is Giancarlo. Rookie right there, boom platinum. That's another rookie from Don Russ uh, Elite. And then we got Steven Strasberg, who's had you know, an up and down career. Came in, you know, like was going to be wild fire buster. Another trophy. And, uh, you know, been been decent pitcher. Been a good pitcher, but not where he was projected to be, like the next Nolan Ryan or whatever. But he's in. He's in. Trophy. He's in there. I'm going over 11 minutes, man. Otherwise, I'm going to make this quick. I don't know if it'll download. And then we got Thor, who's hurt. And, you know, rough year for the Mets. That's all I can say. Rough year for the Mets. And I got you know, Oscar Tavares in here as an honorable mention. Unfortunately, he was uh, killed in a car accident a couple years ago. This guy was looking like he was going to come up and have a really solid career. Unfortunately, uh, his life was cut short. But he is in there. Honorable mention. Oscar Tavares. Some nice cards in there. And, you know, Yosemite Tomas. Um, decent player. I kind of like him. We'll see where he goes. Don't know. And then, of course, I mean, what can you say? It's my trout. I do not have his tops update rookie card. Again, my bucket list, it's on my short bucket list. Um, hopefully, someday I'll be able to get it, but we'll, we'll see, whatever. Um, I had a down year in 2011, collecting wise, so I just never, I just wasn't in the right place at the right time, and I never, I never really bought a lot in 2011, so. I missed out. And then trout, more trout. And then more trout. And then I remember when Trumbo came up. Trophy! Trumbo came up with trout. It was pretty crazy, man. It was two together on the same team, but he, you know, he's moved around. Um, He's in, he's in Baltimore now. I really actually don't know how he's doing this year. I'll be honest. I, I don't know. But that is it, man. Mark Trombo finishing up the uh, modern the modern uh, stars and, you know, and that stuff. So I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to fly. Have a great night. Have a great week. Um, everybody putting some great content out there. I'm really enjoying what people are doing. And uh, I will catch you on the flip side. And like I always say, may the cardboard God shine down upon us all over and out. Here's a high five.